This is Prime Time. It was more than a hundred years ago that Lewis Carroll wrote about Alice's trip through the looking glass. Now that fiction has become a reality, or you might say a virtual reality, because that's the name of a new computer technology that many believe will revolutionize the way we live. As Jay Shadler explains, virtual reality lets you travel to places you've never been and see things you've never seen and do things you've never done without ever leaving the room. If dreams could be sold, what would you buy? The poet's question may soon have a practical answer. The goal of virtual reality is simple. It's total submersion, complete detachment from reality. The doors are opening on a world where the line between reality and illusion has dissolved. I want to fly over Mars. I want to experience everything the roving exploration machines experience. I want to be there. I want to explore the planets myself. Advances in computer graphics over the past 10 years are making it possible to create artificial three-dimensional worlds, complete and convincing, though they only exist in the mind of the viewer and the heart of the computer. Known as virtual reality, or VR, this new technology uses pictures and sounds to wrap around your senses. Imagine a place and you'll be able to step into it. Conjure up a dream and you'll be able to fly through it. It's unreal. It's different, and it's so natural that when you experience it, it's something that, uh, you know, people come out of the system and say, wow, that's unreal. Jonathan Waldern is a 31-year-old computer scientist in England. As a college student, he designed computer graphics. Now, he's launched one of the first companies to mass-produce right, virtual reality systems. Okay, so here we are going into virtual space, and here I want to show you a little application where We've got a car, engine. As with most VR systems, Waldern's uses stereoscopic images projected onto tiny screens inside the viewer's helmet. A powerful computer then generates the graphics and sounds needed to convince the viewer he's in another world. The illusion is completed when motion sensors in Waldern's glove and helmet allow him to begin interacting with whatever he sees. What I can do is, uh, as you can see, freely move the articles all around anywhere I like in space. Now, on a conventional computer, this would take an awful long time. Here in the virtual world, you just pick them up and move them around. 